back guys, it's Kids Doing Playground here, and today we're back for another video called Feed, Feed the Ghost Game. So we are making another Halloween game, because it's almost Halloween. This time, you are the player who tries to throw candies and feed the ghosts. If you are able to feed 10 ghosts with 20 candies that you have, then you win the game, else you will lose. Feed the Ghost Game. We'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Variables, broadcast messages, loops, switch costume, learn to get X and Y position for a sprite, and touching sprite. So I'll be demoing this game. Let's full screen it. So I play some music in the background, and as you can see, there's like a little um, bullseye thing that moves around and that glides around, and there's ghosts always flying around, and you try to feed the ghost, and it says, got it, if you uh, feed a ghost, and it says, got it, and then it makes like a chomp noise. And then if you miss, it says it laughs at you like it's um, laughing at you because you missed. And it, and it, you just keep on feeding them until you get 10, and then you win. Or you lose, yeah. So I'm gonna try to lose right here. So, I'm gonna try to lose here. I actually might win. <laughs> oh, see, when you get 10, um, it says you won. So, yeah. If you run out of candies and you don't score 10 points, you lose, obviously. So, let's start a new project. So, before I start, please like, share subscribe and comment in the comment section below for what else videos you want so i do have some things in my backpack let's just first delete this scratch cat i have some things in my backpack so there's um backdrop i got online so it's called halloween bg3 and it's from free pick so links in the description you can definitely check that out this is a really cool website where you can get uh, backdrops and sprites for things. So, yeah, it's really cool. It's called Free Pick. So, you can go there. So, I already have the backdrop done for myself. So, I'll actually show you how to do it. So, you just have to um, put hover your mouse here. Got to upload backdrop. Then, you got to click this. And it'll open as you can see it's not big enough so you gotta convert to vector and you can make it larger how large you want it to be so so we can make this larger as you can see that's basically how you do it but i'm just going to delete this so anyways um let's get to the code so we will have the candy and bullseye it's in the links in the description so i'm gonna drag the candy and I'm gonna drag the bullseye. And let's get coding. So first, I'm just gonna go to the backdrop and do the sounds, so that's simple enough. And green flag is clicked. Forever loop. And you gotta choose your sound, so sound. And I use dance snare beat, so you can use any sound you want. If I use dance snare beat. I think it's called dance snare beat, yep. And um, play sound, dan dance, snare beat until done. So the sound is done. So I'm gonna work on the bullseye next. So I'm gonna work on the bullseye next. Um, so when the green flag is clicked, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. When the green flag is clicked, it will set size to 100%. It already is 100, but it will go to the front later, so then you can see it in the front. It will show, and it will go to a position. So let's just make it go to maybe, let's keep it here. But let's go forever, glide one second, to have to glide somewhere. So let's say around here. So um, 
the bullseye sprite you could just make the bullseye sprite around the moon like here 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 and the ghost is always flying around so you you can like glide to wherever you want your bullseye like up here all the way here so i already have the written coordinates for myself so it's glide one second to x 110 and y 80. i also have another one glide one second to negative 110 and positive 45 and then glide one second to 110 45 so you can you don't have to follow the exact coordinates it'll just zigzag around like around here you know keep on zigzagging and then i also have glide one second to negative 110 and positive 10 why also i also have glide one second to x 110 y 10 and also um last one glide to x negative 110 and you can change this one to 0 0.5 0 0.5 seconds and 80 so those are my written coordinates so yeah so i'm just gonna close down the backpack right here and i'm gonna show it to you as you can see there's like the bullseye zigzagging all around the moon and yeah so when i'm gonna make some variables so i have to make variable candy the variable missed so it'll tell if you missed one of the ghosts a variable score another variable x and the last variable y so the x and y variables are for when i fire my candy it will go to that position x and y so of the bullseye so yeah um, and we also need to code a little bit. So when the green flag is clicked, clear graphic effects. It'll go forever. Set X. Set X to X position. So it's in sensing X position right here. That's actually in motion, sorry. X position. And, um set y to y position and also change color effect by 20 it's actually optional but if you want to make it change color it'll flash and flash and flash so change color effect by 20 so i'll just show it to you as you can see it's moving and it's changing to beautiful colors so yeah so in my backpack, I also have the cloud. So there's actually um, some details in the background. If you did not see earlier, there's actually some clouds going around, uh, up and down around the place. So yeah, so we're gonna code the clouds next. So it has a hunk of code, so we can code that. So when the green flag is clicked, I have a, a go to negative 50, Y, 129. So, and I have written coordinates, so so it is precise. So, forever, repeat twice, and wait 0 0.4 seconds. And I can also change this to 130 because I have written coordinates. So, and it's also even. So, and wait 0 0.4 seconds, change y by negative one and also you need to repeat duplicate this but it's just a little bit different so you gotta put this under not inside or else it will not work under that thing but still in the forever loop so it's two zero point four seconds and it's positive one instead so it'll just go up and down so i'm gonna show you 
suits going up and down. It's a really good detail. So yeah. And also, we can also code the ghost. So I think we do have time for the ghost. So ghost is actually in the sprite library. Ghost. And when the green flag is clicked, so I'm gonna set his rotation style to left, right, right here, click on this. And when the green flag is clicked, set size to 45% because I think he's a little bit too big, so it's too easy to get the score. And then switch costume to Ghost D. So I, I'm pretty sure Ghost D is this costume of him running around. So yeah, and it'll go to, I do have coordinates, so it'll go to 0, 20. It really doesn't matter actually, but I do have coordinates, so I was using them. So anyways, it will repeat five times. So it will create five ghosts. So this create clone of myself. It will repeat it five times, so there's going to be five different ghosts. And then it will hide. It will hide the original ghost because the original one will be still there and the clones will be moving around. So when I start as a clone, it will go to random position so right here oh show because it is probably hidden it might be hidden and it will go forever if then and you need an and operator touching candy so the and so I'm gonna move a little bit to the right and then and media equals operator and then do miss so miss is for later use and then ready to end because when you throw a candy and it actually misses a ghost and a ghost just passes by the candy and it will still count points so this is how you control it and it will not count points so and then it'll switch costume to go see so the ghost see is going to be like eating the candy. Let's see. Go see, see, look, eating the candy. And wait one second. It'll hide. And do not put it here, put it inside here. It'll wait another second. And it'll switch costume to the running ghost. So, ghost D. And it'll show. So you remember it's hiding or show. So not inside the block, you need a point and direction. So the next script of code we're doing is making um, the ghost fly around. So then it'll point to the left, it'll point to the right, and it'll fly around in that direction. So point and direction, pick random, negative 90 to 90. And it'll also glide so this next script of code is to make the ghost so it won't fly everywhere and only fly around the moon so pick random 0 0.5 and 1 second to x pick random negative 125 to 125 okay so and also you also need another pick random 110 to negative 110 and if if it's on edge if it's on the edge go about I don't think we actually need the if on edge bounce because it's not even going to be on the edge. So I'm going to show you the game. So I'm going to show you the game. As you can see, there's, uh, the bullseye's flying everywhere. The ghosts are flying everywhere. So, it's really cool. so we will be doing the candies later. So in part two.
so there will be a part two. So yeah, please like, share, subscribe again, and comment in the comment section below. And also, see you guys next time.